And we're so moved by how brave you're being to talk about this because there's not many people would be brave enough to come on national television and be as raw uh, as you're being now. Is, is anger one of the emotions that oh, you feel? Oh, you're furious at them. You're so angry. You just have extreme rage. And then at the same time, like the deepest, deepest sorrow and sadness where you just feel so sad, mm. like you're just, and you feel so sad for them because you think what they must have been going through. Do you feel guilty as well? I'm not saying that you should, I'm just saying yeah. as a sibling, My it's, parents do. it's something that My I want to feel. My parents do. But they didn't see that there the, was yeah, something wrong. Yeah, that, the, definitely. But he, definitely. He, he, he has a, I know you said to me, he had a, girlfriend who was yeah. a psychiatrist yes she, she, she didn't, didn't she didn't she was a so psychiatrist if she didn't see, she any. Didn't see yeah. any signs and when in seven hours is a, a long time isn't it yeah. what, what have you what feedback have you had from the police, police. as to what he was saying so he during was, those well, seven hours well they were saying he was completely hallucinating oh my so right. he was not it, he was not there. He was not in charge of his faculties in any way. So there was no reasoning with him? No, no. He, he, was, he was not your brother he was at that not moment when he did the terrible thing? He was thing. not my brother. And it's, you know, what's so ironic, Andrea, was exactly seven days before we had Professor Green on the yes. show talking about this very issue about his parent, about his father and his uncle. Mm. And... Obviously, I, I felt compassion for him, but I had no idea yeah. the depths of the anguish that mm. he must still go through now. And when you look at the stats, this is an epidemic. Yeah. This is the number one killer of men under 35. Yeah. And mm. there's such a stigma attached to it. We live in a society where men aren't allowed to express their feelings. So if you are an alpha male the way that my brother was, and you're the one that everybody relies on... Linda's phone now. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 set it up for us. <laughs> <laughs> they did it <laughs> But if you're an alpha male the way that my brother was, you don't feel confident enough to be weak and to mm. say... When, and, and the problem with suicidal thoughts is it's, it's temporary. Yeah. Yeah. If you tell somebody, there can be an intervention and for anybody even considering it, even having those thoughts, I beg you on the behalf of the people who love you, on behalf of your friends, on behalf family. of your family, the teacher whose favourite student you were, don't do it because that pain doesn't go. That pain gets dumped on the people you love. It doesn't go. Whereas if you seek help, you can get over it. And as long as you're alive, there's always hope. Do you know why they didn't let your dad In America, talk to legally, him? they don't, because they don't know if that's the reason the person is there. Right. And they don't want to be sued in right. okay. America. And does your father feel that he could have made a difference? He does. Yeah. And I think he could, because imagine if you're in that state to be there for seven hours on your yeah. own mm. with strangers. Yeah. Mm. Just doesn't bear thinking about. And for who he was, this was a person that was full of life. Full of life. It, it was his birthday yeah. recently. Mm -hmm. How did you how did you commemorate? Yes, it was his birthday a couple of weeks ago, which was incredibly hard because he was always here for Christmas and for his birthday. And he was here last year, so I went to an amazing uh, spiritual retreat in Devon, a place called Embercombe, and uh, we planted an oak tree in his honour. And um, when we finished planting the tree, we turned around and there was a massive rainbow, which I felt was his way of saying he's OK. Yes. Yes, this is amazing. <laughs> and it just appeared out of the blue. And, and that really represents who he was. He just brightened up everyone's day. He was such a good human being. Did that, bring you, did that bring you joy? Did it, it bring you did. any kind It of peace? really brought me comfort because I felt it was his way of saying, I'm OK. Yeah. yeah, wherever he is, he's OK. And you, you wanted to do something yes, with this photo, I, which is I, why we've all brought our phones. Well, normally, we, we get in big trouble if we bring our phones on, <laughs> on set, but we've actually been allowed to today. Yes. Tell, us, tell us what, Well, you? because I really want us to tweet this picture. OK. I want Sammy's legacy to be to brighten up people's day, even in death, the way that he did in life. So I, as you know, don't tweet, and this is my first one. Um, but what a wonderful first tweet, yeah, Jim. Yeah, it is. All right. So, so while, while we're going to go to a break now, and while we do that, we are going to tweet that picture yeah. for June. We're go also going uh -huh. to put it, obviously, on the, on the Loose Woman one as well as our personal one. June, 
I, I know it's a, it's a very strange way for us to open the show today. It's very different for us uh, in terms of a programme, but we salute you and your bravery for coming on today. Thank you so much, <laughs> Jean. Thank you. Uh, if you've been affected by anything that we have just spoken about, please don't suffer in silence. Listen to what June has said. There are lots and lots of groups and organisations who can help. Uh, go to the Loose Women website. Uh, it's itv.com forward slash loose women. You'll find a list of those organisations.